look, I know migrating content or exporting content from Unreal Engine uh, to a folder and then bringing it back into another Unreal Engine project can be quite time consuming. But I'm here to tell you that there's a very direct way of doing this and it takes a couple of seconds to take assets from one project to another, including blueprints and all other things. It would just a few clicks of a button and then you're ready to go. Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. In uh, today's video, I would like to um, quickly go through how to migrate assets from one Unreal Engine project to another one with just a few clicks. This is, the, the key word here is migrate, not export. We're, call, we're, we're, we're talking about migrating from one project to another project. Exporting is used to move assets into other software for you to be able to edit them in like Blender, 3ds Max, Maya, whatever, but this, you know, migrating is a communication between one Unreal Engine project to another Unreal Engine project. And that's what you want to do, right? Uh, that's going to make things easy and that's going to make you be able to, you know, your workflows will develop quite quickly. You don't have to redo every blueprint in another project. Again, you can just migrate them. A lot of people have asked me about this, especially the ones that have purchased some of my projects. They don't know how to use the assets that I provide in their own projects. So this is why I'm doing this video specifically. If you want to support me, please consider joining Patreon and you can also get two hours of mentorship in a month with it if you go for the right tier. Uh, if not, can, uh, you could get the projects from uh, from me from our station or Gumroad at the price of a coffee. You know how I enjoy my coffee. So you guys don't disappoint me. You know, I really need to go to Starbucks again and get myself one. So yeah, please feel free to support support me on that if you want but let's not dwell any longer on this intro and let's begin the tutorial this is a short one straight to the point and i'm sure you will find it useful and enjoy it okay so uh, i've just opened my planet creator unreal engine uh, 5 and it's obviously uh it's all looking great you know i've shown this in my previous in one of my previous vi videos about the functionality of the blueprint of the planet and the functionality of the blueprint of the star uh, dome or the sky box however you want to call it but the main issue is that i've got the i've got the rings and i've got an atmosphere but i just don't really have anything in the rings if i get close to them there's nothing really there it's just a it's just a texture really so i would like to have some asteroids floating about now what I want, obviously, like I've said, I want to show you guys how to export uh, content from one project to another project. Um, so I'm just literally opening a project where I have an asteroid ring, which is something that you guys could have could create from uh, another uh, tutorial that I've made in the past. Uh, just showcases how to create uh, an asteroid field. So this is uh, I'm just literally just open one here. Um, let me just put this over into lit mode. There's still a texture being loaded right now. Um, okay, that is now loaded. So this is another project that I've got available. As you can see, I am a bit over budget with the texture size just because of how, you know, there's a lot of things going on in here. Um, also, it seems to have it be having a glitch with the camera. So I'm just going to pilot and eject. So this is another project that's available on our station, Gumroad or Patreon. But as I said, what I'm interested in getting from here is these asteroids. Yeah, this uh, blueprint uh, effectively. Now, if I uh, browse to asset, okay, um, this will then should open a new window for me and uh, within the content browser, which is over here. So this is the this is the instance asteroid uh, blueprint, and uh, migrating this to another project is quite easy. Uh, one first thing you need to know exactly what this project is. So in my case, it's UE5 desert uh, underscore desert underscore planet. So in this other project, I can right click it. I don't have to have both objects uh, open, by the way, to do this. Just the one that I'm exporting from. So I can right click the blueprint and select asset actions and then select migrate, not export, because I'm not exporting this as an FPS, FPX, sorry, FPX object or texture. I am actually migrating this blueprint to another project. Once I press migrate, 
the asset report will ask me what do I want to if, I, if there's anything in here that I don't want to move and this is literally taking into account everything that the uh, blueprint has going for the mesh the texture the you know anything that makes this a blueprint function so then I press ok on the key on the on, on here and then I, it's asking me where do I want to place it so I need to I'm gonna place it in the UE5 desert planet and then I'm going to go in the content folder. So you always have to go in the content folder of the project in Unreal Engine where you want to migrate it. And then in the content folder, you can press select folder. If you are in another folder in here, it will give you an error saying that this is not a content folder. Are you sure you want to take it there? And you can just press yes or no, depending on if that's what you're trying to do. So I'm going to press select folder. And it says here, content migration completed successfully. Now, if we go back into this project and we control space and we go over into the content folder, you'll notice that I don't really see anything changed. And that's because both of these projects have the same uh, naming convention. So we're, so it's literally put it in the space con construction just because I have that folder here as well. So if I double click this and then go into the planet system and blueprints, um, it's, well, actually it's not here. Let me just have a look where exactly was uh where where was this blueprint so browse to asset and it's actually sitting in a planet system particle system that's what it's sitting in so if we go into particle system you can see it in here bp instancing asteroid ring so i can drop that into the scene um okay these are the asteroids you can see it over there and i am going to center this into i'm going to put this into the center of the world uh, and then I have to toy around with uh, with the settings in order to really, you know, get the get the effect, the desired effect. Um, so let me just try and play with some of these settings, trying to bring these, um, you know, actually, the thing about the, the, this asteroid ring is that you really need to play the, with the, with the settings quite a bit before you actually get um, before you actually get to see them. So let me just try. Uh, oh, there we go. So we started. To, we we're starting to see the outline of this. So um, let me just see if I add a two in here. No. Uh, okay. Okay. There we go. We started. We're starting to see them now. Uh, so this is just uh, putting it uh, above. So I do need to get. You know, do you need to start distancing here? quite a bit um maybe about nine no about okay about that size obviously the asteroids are too big so we can scale them down maybe something like that and obviously we don't need this to be this large so something like that right so i've, I've got the asteroids that's all i really wanted to do i don't want to play around with the asteroids right now because that's not important but what's important is that you can see that the blueprint was brought in with the functionality of the, of the actual blueprint the asteroid meshes were brought in and the textures for them, okay? And that was just simply with a right-click, migrate, and selecting the content folder of another project. That's how easy it is to move the blueprint. Now, if I try from here to move, let's say, this Niagara system, right? Which, in this particular case, if you look in here, I do have um, a Niagara asteroid field, okay? So I've got that as well, which is uh, obviously it's... Oh, what have I done? Um, sorry, but I've just clicked by mistake another option. And now uh, Unreal Engine has decided to freeze for a bit to try and think. Okay, uh, so right-click it again. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, right-click it here just to make sure. Yeah, that's the one. So this is NS underscore asteroid field, and I'm going to right-click it. And the same thing, asset action, uh, migrate. And you can see it's taking all of this stuff because it's a it's a it's a Niagara system. It's got plenty of things in it, uh, and it's going to move. It's going, if I'm going to press OK. It's going to ask me the same thing. Do I want to put it in here? And I'm going to say select folder. Now in Unreal Engine Five, you get this sort of error whenever you do this, and it's asking them, you know, saying some some selected assets don't have a corresponding content root in the destination. Would you like to migrate all selected assets into a folder with consolidated references? Without migrating into a folder, the assets in the above roots will not be migrated. Let me tell you, right? You press yes on this and your, your Niagara system will not function. Simple as. So press no, right? Just 
and then it will ask you in case you've got anything in there that's already you know you already got asteroids you know, asteroid o2 I already got that in there so i'm just gonna say yes and you know there's some things in there that when i've moved the instance asteroid ring over into that project uh this one is using some of those elements as well like the meshes for example but now it's all been uh copied so it says there's some content, content could not be copied it's talking about things like the uh what it couldn't replace but that's not a problem right because again this has just been one of those things where i've moved my asteroids which i'm going to delete uh from here and also i'm going to put this into one lit mode so i can increase my performance in this other project it's just really eating my video ram okay now in the content browser for this uh, project if we go into the particle system you'll see that we've got the ns asteroid field as well so i'm going to drop that in the scene and you can already see that it's spawned um and i am going to put this to a location of zero okay and you can see the asteroids right over here and they're also moving they pretty much got all the settings as the other asteroid field performance is a bit low on the niagara system one because it's not as optimized as with the with the blueprint one where there's um, uh, the asteroid field is done with nanite these are not done with the, the niagara system one is not done with nanite obviously nanite doesn't work as a niagara system but overall it doesn't matter because again i just showed you how to migrate a niagara system in another project as well and you can do this for any asset you can migrate it to a project for anything you're only going to use export if you're trying to bring the asset into another software that's not unreal engine but if it is unreal engine then that's what you want to do you want to use the migrate function which will do exactly that migrate the content of one project to the content of another project so that's about it i hope you guys found this uh, tutorial useful please leave a like comment and subscribe if you did please uh, consider going and purchasing one of my projects especially something like this on patreon gumroad or our station uh, as obviously you're gonna get a lot of things with this project the planet the, you know the planet creator and the skybox um, as well that's fully dynamic and um, customizable so you can see infinite amount of planets infinite amount of, of potential skyboxes and all sorts of things with this uh, package so i'll see you guys in the next one thank you to my patreons once again and uh, yeah keep uh, keep exploring space <laughs>